My name is Diani Whitehawk. I am a multidisciplinary visual artist working in Minneapolis, Minnesota. My studio practice is grounded in abstraction, most predominantly in the forms of abstract painting and beadwork. My work draws strongly from the lineage of Lakota abstract practices that have been practiced for millennia. A lot of my work, either through material or through visual references, harkens back to the practices of quill work and beadwork. My name is Mercedes Austin, founder and CEO of Mercury Mosaics. We had the honor of collaborating with Diani Whitehawk to make this piece for the Whitney Museum out of our handmade tile. The name Mercury comes from the Roman god of skilled trade and craftsmanship. At the heart of this collaboration are two artists uniting together to bring Diani Whitehawk's vision to life through our craft. Diani and I connected within our building community. Our conversations really resonated, but we were just really kind of having fun and dreaming and talking about doing a large project. The title of the piece is Nourish. I thought a lot about the placement of this particular work in the eighth floor cafe of the Whitney Museum and what the visitor's experience is like. Oftentimes when you're walking through a very large museum, it can be an extremely daunting experience simply because you are interacting with what can often be really emotionally charged artwork. You're taking in a great deal of sensory input, but in the cafe, you're nourishing your body by having a beverage or a snack. You're resting. Overall, I just really wanted this installation to feel like a gift in a way that nourishes the visitor while they're physically nourishing their body. Concept and ideation, that's really Diani's court. What I really loved about her process was her respect and genuine curiosity on bringing her artwork to life through another medium. It was a lot of playing with different ideas. Some days maybe it was playing with paper tiles and some days it might have been sending Diani with, you know, instead of a box of crayons, a box of tile samples. The visual translation to ceramic tile was really quite natural. I really strongly consider the history of any materials that I'm working with. So it was exciting for me to be able to think about working in tile, you know, which is artistic expression through manipulation of material that comes from the land that sustains us. The colors selected for Nourish are really strongly linked to the history of Lakota abstraction and Lakota artistic practices. The large, black, mirroring triangle forms, which are called kopemini in Lakota, are referencing stone and earth and land and the ways that these natural materials influence one another and the ways they shape and nourish us. Normally, we actually aren't installing our own handmade tile. However, with the caliber and breadth of this piece, that was a very important aspect for us was to be able to fly out and be in the space where the final piece would be installed and to have a very intimate role in selecting the tile installation team. The number of trades that came together to bring this to life from the project coordinator on behalf of the Whitney Museum of American Art, the architect firm, the tile installer, the curators, the providers of the grouts and adhesives, the schluter that was used as another design element within the mosaic, and each and every artisan that had a hand in bringing this to life. I also appreciated working with Mercury Mosaic because of the fact that, you know, it is a female-owned business, an artist-owned business, because it feels very kin to and related to the way that I think about my practice. I'm often thinking about how to impart life into the work so that when you stand in front of the work, it does not feel static. It feels energized. It has breath. It has life. 
And I often think about community, that together we are a whole, but each individual has unique characteristics. Handmade tiles are like that in the way that they can come together to create a beautiful, unified presence, yet they each carry their own characteristics. Having variety within the glazes brings breath and movement into the work in a way that would be very different if the glazes were completely consistent over an entire singular tile color. The unexpected discoveries were, I would say, simply rediscovering the heart of our artisan-fueled company. To be entrusted at this level, to have brought this legacy piece of artwork to life, well, that's a gift. I am extremely humbled. I am ultimately grateful. So I really, really, really appreciate being able to explore what it takes to collaborate with prolific artists who have wild visions, but who are just as passionate and inquisitive about breaking all the molds and doing something that's never been done. I'm thrilled with the outcome of the mosaic. The final product is perhaps better than I dreamed, and I'm extremely grateful that the folks at Mercury Mosaics were willing to play with me and to work very hard to bring this very ambitious project to life.